Today we're going to look at Chapter 7, Systems of Linear Equations. Today, 7.1, is about learning how to develop systems of linear equations and to verify solutions. Today's lesson is not going to include how to solve systems of linear equations. We're going to do that in the next lesson, 7.2. Let's look at a problem. The school district has buses that carry 12 passengers and buses that carry 24 passengers. The total passenger capacity is 780. There are 20 more small buses than there are large buses. What we're going to do is we're going to develop a system of equations because it's going to take two equations to solve for two unknowns. Our two unknowns are the number of small buses and the number of large buses. So what we can do is say to find out how many large buses and how many small buses they have, it's easier to develop a system of two linear equations to solve this. If we let x be the number of small buses and we let y be the number of larger buses, we can set up a couple of different scenarios. We can first of all say that 12 times the number of small buses plus 24 times the number of large buses is going to equal a total capacity of 780. Secondly, if we said that there's 20 more small buses than larger buses, we can say x would equal y plus 20. There's, this is called a system of linear equations. We have two equations with two unknowns. The solution to a linear system is to find one value for x and one value of y that's going to work in both equations. Now let's say we're told that there's 15 large buses and 35 small buses. In order to prove this, we need to verify this. So we're going to take our two equations and substitute 15, or 35, I'm sorry, for x and 15 for y. So 12 times 35 plus 24 times 15, we have to show that that is going to equal 780, and it is. Secondly, x is equal to 35, has to equal 15 plus 20, and that also verifies. So we've shown through verification that the solution to this system of equations is x equals 35 and y equals 15. Let's look at another problem. Here we have two different scales. These balance scales illustrate the two different sizes of bags of rice. X represents the mass of the large bag, Y represents the mass of a small bag. To write a linear system to model this two balance scales, we could say in the first equation, 3X's plus 1Y equals 17. In the second equation, we could say x is equal to y plus 3. There's my system of linear equations. In example 1, here we have a diagram modeling a situation. Let's create a linear system to model this situation. The perimeter of the Nunavut flag is 16 feet. What does that mean? Well, if we drew a rectangle, it'll have two lengths and two widths. If we know that the perimeter is 16, we can say 2 times the length plus 2 times the width equals 16. Secondly, if it says that the length is 2 feet longer than the width, I can say L equals the width plus 2. There's my system of equations. Then, it says Denise was determined that the Nunavut flag is 5 feet long and 3 feet wide. Use the linear system from part A to verify that Denise is correct. So we're going to take 5 and plug it in for length, 2 times 5, plus 3 in the width, 2 times 3, and is that 16? 10 plus 6 is 16, and 5 is equal to 5 if you plug these into both sides. There you have it. It does verify. In example two, we're going to use a table. Well, no, we're not. 
we're going to try to create a linear system to model this situation. In Calgary, a school raised $195 by collecting 3,000 items for recycling. The school received $0.05 cents for each pop can and $0.20 cents for each large plastic bottle. So we can say that if we let B equals a bottle and we let C equals a can, we can say bottles plus the cans has to add up to 3,000. And we could also say that $0.20 cents for every bottle plus five cents for every can is going to add up to 195 times 100 cents because 195 dollars has to be in cents. All of it has to be in the same units. So there's my system of equations. So the school collected 2700 pop cans and 300 plastic bottles. Let's verify this. Well in my first equation B plus C is 3,000, and 20B plus 5C is 19,500. We can say 300 plus 2,700, or 3,000 equals 3,000, and 20 times 300 plus 5 times 2,700 means that both sides of this equation are going to add up to 19,500. Example 3. Let's relate a linear system to a problem. A store sells wheels for roller skates in packages of 4 and wheels for inline skates in packages of 8. Create a situation about wheels that can be modeled by the linear system below. Explain the meaning of each variable and write a related problem. Well, what can we say? 8i plus 4r equals 440. Well, we know that there's eight uh, inline skate wheels in a box, and there's four roller skate wheels in a box. So we could say the first equation, i, is a package of inline skates, and r is a package of roller skates. Altogether, we have 80 packages, I guess, so we can say that the store has 80 packages of roller skates and inline skate wheels. They have a total of 440 wheels to sell. Our assignment then is to do page 401, numbers 4 to 14.